you. But who are you? I'm an artist and I know everything about art. Where are we going? We're going to where everything has started. We're going to the caves, man. So art has existed ever since humans have been on Earth. You're right. Let's go. You can see people hunting and animals and nature. Because in the caves, man, they drew about what they saw. So that was their art. Oh, that is so exciting. I know. And it has more. Art has evolved over time. And now we can go to the Middle Ages. That's great. Let's go to the Middle Ages. As you can see, art changed a lot. It changed from being what they saw to what their beliefs were. Religion was so important in that time that everything they did was based on that. So their art was based on their religious beliefs. So they began to draw what they, what they it was important to them. Yes, exactly. You're understanding so well. But there's more yet. History of art is a really long time. We need to go until we are in the 14th century. I love time traveling. It's so much fun. Yes, I know. I love it too. That's why I do it. But here now, we're in the Renaissance time. And now, from art being of their religious beliefs, it came to be about humans. Everything was based on humanism. What they liked, what they felt, whatever relates to humans, that's what the art was based on. That is so cool. I know, but there's still more. We're not done yet. Now, we're in a really important time called vanguardism. And what is that? It's based on one really, like, one main thing. Going out of the box. Out of what they were usual to do, the artists started to paint about it. Vanguardism involves new movements like Impressionism, Portalism, and Cubism. Really? And how did they do that? Why did they do that? They did that because in that time, they started to change their beliefs. They started to discover new things, and they started to uh, go into adventures and, and see beyond what they were usual to see. Like, uh, the world, they discover more things around the world. That is so cool. I know. But we're not done yet. There's still more. Wow, there's so much in art. I know. Let's go. We have no more. We now, have no we're in the last main period that involves a lot of change in art. This is pop art. I don't know if you know about it, but you know who Marilyn Monroe is? Yes, of course. Have you seen that, like, picture about her with a lot of colors? Yes. That's pop art. It's exactly about that. They started to take usual and common things that people were used to see daily and transform it into art. For example, you can take a fork and transform it into a sculpture. That was what pop art was based on. That is so awesome. I know. And that is how art has changed. It started from being from the cavesmen to what now it is. And art is a lot of things. It's not just what we have explained. There is still more things about art because art is about The history of art has been so cool, but I understand where it comes from. But I still don't don't get where a, what it is. Well, that's one of the biggest questions of all. Art cannot be explained in words. For each person, it's different. For example, for me, it can be a way of expressing my feelings. But for you, it can be a way of criticism about society or something like that. It all depends on the person that does it. Because art is not about, like, art is one thing. The only requirement for art is that it needs to be human-made. You understand what human-made is? I understand what human-made is. But why can't, it be, why can't it be something else? Because, for example, you can see a mountain like this one, and that's art for you or not? Not really. Yes, because that's nature. Nature is not art. But if we change it into another thing, like, for example, someone made a painting about a mountain, like a landscape, that's art, because it's human-made. It represents something for that person, and that's what art is based on. So pictures sculptures, 
paintings are art? Yes, all of those are art and also books, songs, anything that's human made and expresses creativity and a point of view of a person, that's art. That is very interesting. I know, but what you need to know also is that art has, for example, if I, I see a painting like this one, I can see a message for myself. Like, I can connect it with my life and with what I feel at that moment. And in that moment, if you see it with me, that can be different for you. That's what art is all about. It expresses a different point of view for each person. So it is open to interpretation, right? Yes, exactly. That's what I mean. Thank you. Um, I am understanding it every time a little more. Yes, but there's still more. We're not done yet. Art is a lot of things. What else do you want to know about? How, how can we do art? Art can be done in very different ways because I, I told you before, it's different for everyone. However, there is still like recommendations that we can learn in order to make our work of art, like our final piece, better. And how, what, how can we make it better? Well, there are a lot of different things and it depends on each person. But for example, you can start planning and investigating about what you want to draw. Like you have an idea of what you want to do and before doing it, like your actual piece and knowing exactly what you want to do, you may want to investigate about pictures and how to do that specific element that you want to do and also you need to plan that like um, start sketching about those things for example if I want to draw a human face I can take from pictures from from different human faces and combine them all together in order to make one of my own and I sketch about it until I like it and then I do my final piece based on that there, in that way, your your work, like your final product, will be a lot better. So there is no right or wrong answer. You know? No, art is not based on answers. Art is about what you want to express. There is never right or wrong, or good or bad. That's not about art. That's about other things. But we can do, through this method, we can do art better. Like, our final piece can be better. If there is no right or wrong answer, why is it a, an area of knowledge? Art is an area of knowledge because it's, even though it's not a right or wrong answer like in math or physics or business or, or any other area of, of knowledge, you can also learn a lot of things from art. And you can learn from history as we have. We, we can learn about different artists and different point of views. Art is a lot of things. You cannot imagine how much things there are. You can even learn about politics about art, art in art. For example, there are no, as I said before, art can be very different things, but there are four essential facts that all art needs to um, show. Do you have a, can you make a guess about this? I don't really know anything. You do know, but you it's just together. cannot understand it yet completely because we're not done. For example, as I said, it's human made. Art cannot be nature, it needs to be done by humans. Also, it needs to show a quality. You need to know that like an artist needs to know how to paint or how to use different materials. That's shown in art. Also, uh, the interpretation. For example, as I told you, you can see a work of art and think about it in a certain way, but I can think about it differently. That's interpretation. All of that involves a, just one little painting. That is so interesting. I know, but we're not done yet. There's still more. And how can I improve my art? Like your quality of your art pieces, you mean? Yes, the quality. Well, there is not like a certain way to do it because as I told you before there's never like a strict method you need to follow but for example there are different elements and principles in art that you can use in order to make your work piece a lot better there are many different ones can you guess one? Um, texture? yeah 
texture is one of them, but also its line, like the outlining of different elements in the in the piece, color, different values of color, for example, light blue, blue, and dark blue. That those are values, and there is also you can see emphasis, like when you see to a painting, you can see where your eye leads to, like up, down, to a side or the other, and there are many other things, such as texture that you said. For example, when you see a painting, you can see if that texture is about like a fabric or grass or a cloud, and you can recognize that. That's texture. There is also movement, like if you can see the, the piece of art, like it shows movement or many other things. What about proportion? Proportion is really important in art. For example, when you draw a face, you need to make the, the faces exactly the same. And proportion in a whole work needs to be done like equally, asymmetrically, in, in a way, or it can be symmetrical, or it can be different. It all depends to the artist. Thank you. I will take that in account. Yes. You need to take it. It's not as easy as I thought it was. Art is not easy at all. It involves a lot of things, as well as any other area of knowledge does, like math, business, economics, language, anything. It involves the same knowledge that art requires as well. It's really hard if you think about it deeply. And I have one last question. What is that? What about the generalizations in art? Like, like how the, the interpretations like for example art as I told you before I already said this to you interpretations in art can be different for every person for example for me it can mean something and for you it can mean a whole of other thing it all depends on the person and the surroundings of, of them like for example their society their feelings their their the persons they interact with what they belief like religion and all of that depends on it and affects what you think about a certain thinking of and about art. I think I already know everything about art. Yeah, you can never know everything about art because art is always growing and is always developing more, but you know what's the principles of art and what you need to know for now. I hope this helps you. Yes, thank you. And I really hope you can use this knowledge for your work.